news and comedy at the same time. <laughs> I'm a multitasker, despite what my parents think. Um, friends are important. Uh, it's true. Uh, you should all have friends. Some of you do. Some of you are here alone. But uh, friends let you celebrate things like 21st birthday parties, which are amazing. Um, I recently celebrated my oldest friend's 21st birthday party. I met him in first grade when I was the wee size of this. And uh, he was the weird kid. Um, I don't know why I was his friend, but uh, at recess each day, he would walk around and pretend he was a raptor. <laughs> and I don't mean just, rawr, I'm a raptor. No, he was, <laughs> <laughs> and he would arch his back and everything. And it started to freak people out. People would come up to me and be like, Nick, what's wrong with your friend? Why is he my friend? <laughs> I'm not the sole owner. I didn't plant a flag in his arch back, and not me. God dang it, why is he mine? But fifth grade, he grew out of it, and I was like, yes, I have a tall friend. <laughs> and then we got to sixth grade. And I was like, he's still normal. Yay, and then he pulled out a thing of pencil lead and just started <laughs> munching away. No! No! Dick, what's wrong with your friend? <laughs> He's still my friend. Dang it. He needs to branch out. <laughs> then, yeah, so we got to high school and he stopped eating pencil lead, started eating people food. Yes, I've got a tall friend. <laughs> we get to class, and he shows up in a bathrobe with a stuffed squirrel on his shoulder and tells people he looks like Jesus. <laughs> why? Real Jesus, why? <laughs> Nick, what's wrong with your friend? He's tall. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we, we graduated out on time um, and went, he went to a community college and became normal. I don't know how it happened, but it's community college and it fixed him. Normally it's vice versa. <laughs> so now people, people come up to me like, Nick, what's wrong with your friend? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> look at him, look at him. He's folding laundry. <laughs> But yeah, so I got to I celebrated his 21st birthday party. I was the normal kid growing up, which begs the question, why did I hang out with a weird kid? Because weird kids attract weird kids. His roommates proved that to me. <laughs> because I didn't think about that. I was like, yeah, I get to celebrate my oldest friend's 21st birthday party. I didn't think I had to invite his friends, but they showed up. And weird, because one of them insists on playing a Game Boy, not an iPhone, doesn't own a PlayStation or an Xbox, he plays a Game Boy Color circa 1966 <laughs> all the time. I don't know why. And then he's got this other friend, the one that takes the cake. Guy who has a beret because he's balding at the age of 24. But he has a ponytail. He's one of those. <laughs> he's got swing shoes wherever he goes. I don't know why. Like, we went to the bar, and I don't know what he thought was going to happen, but he wore swing <laughs> shoes. But then, the weirdest thing of all is he wears a ukulele all the time. Doesn't know how to play, but he's got a ukulele strapped around his back because I guess he thinks it's a tiny guitar. <laughs> but, I, which I honestly, I would never wear one out in public because I'd be scared that a midget would come up to me and finally be able to have their Animal House moment. Just take that ukulele, bash it on the third leg of that stool because that's all the higher they can reach, really. But it just shatters into pieces and they're just like, yeah, good day. But uh, I just, I happened to, they all got trashed because I'm good at what I do. But in the middle of the night, I just hear this weird noise, just do, 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 do. And I'm like, whoa, it's 2.30, why am I hearing this? So I open the door to one guy's room and it's the skinny Game Boy kid. He's cradling his Game Boy, sleeping. He's like, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm like, weird but not thump noise. So I open the other door, and it's my friend, the raptor, just sprawled naked in the middle of his bed. She covers junk. He's a gentleman. But uh, I'm like, what is this noise? There's only one room left. So I open this door, and there's the guy in the beret still, 2.30 in the morning, F1. 
athletic shorts around his knees. But uh, I don't know if you've ever seen beds these days. They've got a mattress and then a box spring, that little tiny space in the middle. He was plowing away at that little tiny space in the middle, <laughs> slamming his bed into the wall. And I was just, you don't know what to do when you see that. <laughs> it's not an everyday situation. I don't know what you guys would do. But I was a gentleman. I shut the door, and I let him be. And we didn't discuss it ever again, because it's still ingrained in my eyelids. But that's it for me. <laughs>